Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Good Note Gymnasium here at Frontier Regional for this big Franklin County League girls basketball matchup featuring two of the top 20 teams in all of Western Mass, the Greenfield Green Wave and the Frontier Red Hawks. Along with Chris Collins, I'm Jeff Terrell. Our studio producer tonight is Dave Reno, also on Frontier Community Access Television tonight and on their YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed the broadcast here tonight. The Green Wave, number six in all of Western Mass, regardless of division, according to Mass Live, number 19, Frontier Greenfield. Chris coming in with a 15-1 overall record. They're 4-0 in the Franklin County League North. They're obviously in first place, but Frontier is hot. They're now 13-4 overall. They're 4-1 in the FCL North. Second place, just a half game behind Greenfield. Greenfield, these are two very hot teams. Greenfield's won 13 in a row in Frontier. Almost as hot. They've won 11 of their last 12. Yeah, something's got to give tonight. And both these teams are tournament bound. So this really is, I think, for the battle for that, uh, that North lead. And Frontier would love nothing better on senior night than to come out here and knock off Greenfield and take control. Two seniors being honored here tonight that will pick up uh, that pregame festivities here on senior night. Only two seniors on this team. Alexa Boyden is one. Ella Dean is the other. Everyone else will be back next year. It's amazing though, Chris. Only one loss this year for Greenfield. That was at Husick way back on December 16th. They're a week away, if they can keep this going, a week away from going two full months without suffering a defeat. That's, yeah. a, that, that's a hot basketball team. And they come off a big win over a pretty tough West Side team last night. Samantha Smith had 20 points in that game. And I think that that's going to be the toughest order for Frontier tonight is to find a way. And Luxa Boyden's going to have to be on her game to try and control or shut down uh, Samantha Smith. Boyden has been playing some really good basketball this second half of the year. She's had a strong season overall, but she has really stepped up her game as well. As Chris mentioned, Greenfield defeated West Springfield, uh, number four in all of Western Mass, by the way, on the road, 62 to 53. And Frontier also comes in on the heels of a victory. They defeated Alpha on the road back on Tuesday night, 51 to 45. Now, these two teams played early in the season, all the way back in December, December 20th, at Nichols Gym, a game hurt here on Bear Country. All green wave that night. They beat Frontier 51 to 16. The wave held the Red Hawks to zero points in the second quarter and only two in the fourth quarter. And Katie Hazelton, the freshman, had a big night three three-pointers on the way to a team high 16 points so a huge margin of victory for the green wave but again times have changed frontier's been very hot lately you got to think it's going to be a lot closer tonight it probably will be but times may have changed but greenfield's press is still greenfield's press and we've seen that press do major damage to teams that were go about to go on a hot streak and that press just locked them down frontier's gonna have to play perfect basketball and really tough defense to try and contain a very high-powered greenfield team all right, looks like the teams are headed down to their respective benches, and we're going to pick up the pregame festivities here. We go to the floor, and the head coach of the Frontier Red Hawks is also the athletic director here at Frontier Regional, Marty Sanderson. And I think Marty's ready to go now. And welcome to Frontier Girls Basketball Senior Night. Tonight, we want to recognize and honor two seniors. During their careers at Frontier, both our seniors have dedicated all of their winters to our basketball program. We thank them for their dedication to Frontier Basketball. They were integral parts of last year's tournament team and have been fantastic leaders as captains of this year's team, leading us to a second consecutive tournament appearance and an impressive 13-4 and four record at this time. <laughs> Congratulations to both of you for your contributions to the success of our basketball program. We would now like to introduce each senior and have them greeted by their families at Center Court. Our first senior, Lexa Boyden. <laughs> will meet up with her parents, William and Jennifer, and sister Evelyn. 
Lexa plans to attend a four-year college and is not sure of her major at this time. Our next honoree, Ella Dean, will be greeted by parents Gary and Shauna. Her sisters Olivia and Caroline and her grandparents. Ella plans to attend a four-year college major in engineering, and play volleyball. Those are our seniors for the 2017-18 season. After hearing their future plans, we know they will have great success and wish them luck in all their future endeavors. Thank you very much. All right, and Chris and I second those sentiments from Marty Sanderson, the coach. We'll take a quick break here. We'll come back, get you start for the opening tip-off. Springfield, Frontier next. Fair Country, 95.3. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. As you can hear, we have a large crowd on hand here at Goodno Gymnasium here on Senior Night. A lot of the Red Hawk faithful here, a nice crowd here from Greenfield. Part of it is just that Frontier does draw well anyway, and it is Senior Night. But part of it is these Greenfield girls, they become, they become sort of like the Patriots or the Yankees. or you know, They're that big, powerful team that everybody wants to see. There's a lot of fans that are here because I've talked to them before the game specifically because they want to see this matchup. There's also, this is also Pack the House Night, which they do once a year. This is a huge rivalry game, though. And they, absolutely, this is a great atmosphere. Lexa Boyden jumping center against Sam Smith of Greenfield. Artie Burke, our lead official. Tip controlled by Greenfield. Burke working with Mike Peter. We're underway. Greenfield in the visiting green jerseys with the white and black trim. And right off the jump, it's Katie Hazelton with a deep jumper. Top of the key, no good. Clearing the board is Tori Speth. Gets it to Ariana Walker, the point guard. Takes it across. Speth goes left baseline, sealed off there. And now it's Ella Dean. Rainbow three is just a little bit short. Rebound Boyden puts it up and in over Smith. No, Alexa Boyden setting the tone early. Nice board. Two nothing in favor of the Red Hawks. And we are underway here. In the paint, Sam Smith turns, shoots, back rim no good. Rebound taken down by Walker. Walker runs it up on the right. 
He's picked up there by Reagan Hickey at 2-3. Greenfield zone, no, they're going man-man. On the left side, it's Dean. Trying to go baseline, bounce pass over to Speth, gets it back to Walker. On the right side now, jumper foul line right is good by Marie Diamond, 4 nothing Red Hawks. Tremendous ball movement right now by Frontier. They came out to play tonight. Again, they got completely blown out of Nichols Gym back in December, but a couple of months have gone by, nearly two months. Kristen Ward on the left side. They go to Hazleton. Reagan Hickey has it deep on the right side. Reagan earlier this year joined the 1,000-point career club. Here comes a scoop shot underneath. No good, though, and that's by Ward, and one and done for Greenfield. Back quickly, Diamond going coast to coast, battled up a held ball. On the arrow, it'll be Frontier basketball. Well defended on the other end by Frontier. Marie Demon went strong into to, uh, tall timber, and uh, possession arrow favors Frontier. Inbounding on the baseline is Dean. Finally does get it in. They work it all the way around the perimeter. Ariana Walker. Bounce pass into the paint. Picked off, though, by Ward, and a push foul is going to be called against Frontier. Looks like uh, Speth will get the ticket there. I haven't had a chance to see the Frontier girls in a while. I haven't done a game in a while, but I'll tell you, I like what I'm seeing right now. This is a really, really focused team. Yeah, I think most of the pressure, if not all the pressure, really here on Greenfield. Both these teams will be part of the postseason, but Greenfield has this long winning streak. They are the kings of girls basketball in this part of the state. And everybody wants to take their shot at them. Reagan Hickey, tricky dribbles on the left side. Double team there, poked away by Frontier. And uh, ball's knocked out of bounds. It'll go back to Greenfield as it's off of Frontier. Greenfield's not moving very much. And Hickey was looking for someone to pass to, and a lot of green players just sort of standing still. Ward will inbound on the baseline. Throws over to Hazleton. Hazleton, they work it back beyond the arc. Here's Reagan Hickey to the right. In a high post at Smith. No one cutting back down low. Shot clock down to 20. Hickey has it on the right elbow. Throws it behind Hazleton. On the left side now. It's Lizzie Howell and her three-pointer. Back rim no. And again, no offensive rebounding for Greenfield. A held ball though on the rebound. The two number 24s. In this case, Howland and Boyden got wrapped up and on the arrow, it's Greenfield. Greenfield's come out flat here, Jeff. They gotta get it going here. Ward inbounding on the baseline again. Into Hazleton, she'll go left baseline. Blocked on the way up, it goes out of bounds. It'll stay with Greenfield, but very, very tough Red Hawk D so far. Well, they knew they, they've gotta play really good defense against this Greenfield team. They know that going in. Ward throws it out deep to Hickey. Reagan holds there. Top of the key, it's Smith. Beyond the arc, right side, they go to Ward. She goes right baseline, can't penetrate. Jump pass tipped away, that's off of Howland, back to Frontier. Wow. Greenfield looks discombobulated, and Frontier looks like they're firing on all cylinders right now. Frontier will inbound. Marie Diamond in her own back of the court gets it in to Dean, Ella. Back over the right side to Walker. Ariana, right near the seven court circle, nearly over and back. Got it up ahead to her teammate, though. It's Dean. Greenfield playing some tough defense. That's off of Sam Smith, out of bounds. 18 to shoot for Frontier. It's Red Hawk ball. Well, we've seen defense spark offense for Greenfield. Let's see if it happens here. Dean throws in. Marie Diamond between the circles. Takes it towards the right side. They switch off on her. Picks up the dribble. Shot clock down to 12. Right side pass. It goes to Speth. Terry gets it over. Ella Dean, top of the key, shot clock down to seven, ends up almost in the backcourt, four to shoot. Dean, foul line right, throws up a rainbow jumper, it's good! Just as the shot clock was winding down. Used every bit of that 30, but it worked, that was a three ball. Seven to nothing in favor of Frontier. They're gonna give her two, actually. I thought it was yeah, a two ball. Yeah, they took it down. Reagan Hickey, Greenfield, sudden scored. Over two minutes in, off, Ooh. bad pass by Hickey, off the hands of Ward, it goes yeah. out of bounds. And John Hickey says, enough of this stuff. We'll take the break. 4.33 to play here in the opening quarter. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Frontier 6, Greenfield nothing on Bear Country, 95.3. All right, back here at a very fired up Goodno Gymnasium. Of course, the home crowd here. We've got some Greenfield fans, but they have had absolutely nothing to cheer about so far. 6 nothing Red Hawks. They have the ball after... Basically an unforced Greenfield turnover. Ella Dean in the backcourt. She falls down, loses the handle. Here comes Reagan Hickey, lays it up and in. 
and Greenfield finally, nearly halfway through the quarter, is on the board. It's 6-2 in favor of Frontier. Here comes the press. Nearly a steal by Howland, but instead they're going to get Liziano reach and foul. And it'll be Frontier ball underneath their own basket. Marie Demon will inbound. Gets it into Dean. Ella guarded by Katie Hazelton. Goes right by her into the front court. Stops on the right wing. Bounce pass on the right side to Demon. Back to Dean, head of the circle. Ooh. And threw it out of bounds, trying to get it to uh, Steph, but it was way beyond where Tori could have got it. Yeah, it was split between uh, Ariana Walker and, and Tori Speth. It's a, a tough pass. And again, Greenfield latching on that defense. Olivia Dean just checked into the lineup, just a freshman for Frontier. And also out there is uh, Amelia Sobieski. 6-2 in favor of the Red Hawks. On the right side, it's Kristen Ward. Back to Hazelton, head of the circle. Left side, they go to Hickey, beyond the arc. Three ball from Reagan. Back rim, no good. Battle for the board, it comes down. Katie Hazelton puts it up off the glass, no good. A whistle and a foul. They're going to get Sam Smith, I believe, going over the top. Yep. Sam Smith went over the back, trying to get uh, advantage on Sobieski. Amelia Sobieski didn't work. And Sam Smith hearing right now from head coach John Hickey. Greenfield putting on that backcourt press right now, trying to provoke a turnover by Ella Dean, able to dribble away from the containment. Takes it right across the head of the circle. On the left side now, Sobieski. Foul line jumper is up and good by Alexa Boyden. Tell you, I love what I'm seeing right now from this uh, Frontier team. They are fired up and playing great basketball. 8-2 Red Hawks. Hickey over to Hazelton. They work at left side now to Ward. Hickey now has it beyond the arc. And a high post Smith shuffle pass right back to Reagan. She goes baseline, throws up a runner, blocked on the way up, but a foul. She got hacked down the arm. I believe it's going to go against Marie Demon. Should we'll be see. Demon, yep. Yep. Well, I like that little little high post handoff. You know, Reagan gives it into Sam and dishes it back. They play a great two-girl game, and that was an example of it right there. First free throw by Reagan. Hickey is up. It is good. She has all three Greenfield points. Substitution for Frontier. Charlotte Doulette checks in. You know what's scary, Jeff, is that Frontier's only got two seniors in this team. These Both these teams are bringing a lot of talent back. So this rivalry is going to go on for at least one more season. Jenna Silk and Raquel Provost are into the lineup for Greenfield. Second free throw by Hickey, good as well. Frontier's lead is four now at 8-4. Three minutes to play here in the opening quarter. Ella Dean in the backcourt. And it's Marie Demon who brings it across the timeline left. Broke that well. Circles. Right side, a high pass pulled down nicely by Dean. She runs it down. Ella gets it back, top of the key. Now it's Olivia Dean. Olivia, bounce pass back to Ella Dean. A little crossover dribble on Hazelton. Gets over to Marie Demon and traveled as she tried to penetrate left side. Yeah, tough break. Was, Demon had the right idea, but just shuffled the foot. 2.37 to play here in the first quarter. Frontier 8, Greenfield 4. Greenfield looks like they're starting anyway to catch their seed legs here after a miserable start to this basketball game. Provost, deep on the right side to Hickey. Hickey directing traffic. Looks like she's frustrated. Looks like the offense isn't doing what she wants. Not moving. It's just Reagan not a lot of On the right side, it's Smith. Back to Provo. She's going to launch a three. Back rim, no. Rebound comes to Marie Dean in a frontier. Long down court pass. Too far for Olivia. I'll check that. Amelia Sobieski out of bounds. Yeah, Greenfield's got to get Sam Smith more involved in the offense. She's on the bench right now. She's coming to the bench right now. But yep. They got to find a way to be, get her posting up down low. That's their best, I think, shot right now of yeah. taking this game back offensively. Coach John Hickey speaking with Sam right now. She's been replaced by Lizzie Howland. Provost has it on the right side. Katie Hazelton has been quiet so far. Here's Reagan Hickey. In the left corner it goes. Jenna Silk. Here's Provost. Double team there. Back to Silk. Shot clock down to 10. Reagan Hickey on the right side. Shot clock at 5. Dumping it down low, bad pass, an attempted save by Silk, but it ends up in the hands of Frontier. That was terrible. I mean, that was just a bad exchange right there for Greenfield. Olivia Dean got it back from Sobieski. Olivia Dean has it right now, deep in the left side. Takes to the foul line, a foul called against Greenfield. I mean, Frontier right now is defending the perimeter very well, and they're perfectly happy to let Greenfield fling it around out there. There's not really a post presence inside to be able to 
throw the ball down low to, and that was a good example of that last exchange. Livia Dean will throw in. That was the first personal foul called against Jenna Soka Greenfield. Third team foul on the wave. Batted down, pass from Ella Dean by Katie Hazelton. Here comes Reagan Hickey. Greenfield looks to run. Reagan, though, Frontier does get back on D. Reagan goes baseline, passes out of that, finds Howland in the lane who hits. And Howland was well defended and got, I think, got foul on that, but they got away with it. Greenfield back to within a bucket now at 8 6. So they've outscored Frontier 6 2 over the last couple of minutes. Ella Dean blows past Reagan Hickey. In the circles on the left side. Goes back to Ella Dean. She's going to launch a three. It's off the rim, no good. Rebound battled for by Provost. Goes out of bounds, off of Boyden, and Greenfield will get the ball back. Yeah, Boyden tried to save that ball and very, very nearly came close to doing so, but Greenfield will take it back. Smith in, Silk out for the wave. 47.1 seconds left here in the quarter, and now they can tie the game or maybe take their first lead. Smith does not look happy right now. I have a funny feeling she's going to blow it up pretty soon here. They have her on a high post right now. Boyden, of course, guarding her. Provost on the right side to Hickey. Sam's calling for the ball. They can't get it to her. On the left side now, it's Hazelton. Nice pass. Smith to Hazelton. No, but a foul. And Katie will go to the line for two. That was probably the best passing exchange of this quarter by Greenfield. That was nicely done. And Hazelton drew the foul, and she can tie this game with two shots here. 26.4 seconds left here in the quarter. First free throw from Katie Hazelton is good. And the freshman will get one more. She's been Greenfield's leading scorer on several occasions. Reagan Hickey justifiably gets a lot of attention. Smith as well. Howland, but Katie's had a big year. Hits the second free throw as well. And we are tied at eight. Ella Dean in the backcourt. Being chased by the Greenfield defenders. Ariana Walker will take it. Up across on the left side. Keeps the dribble going. Guarded by Provost. Goes right by Raquel. Into the left corner. Passes out of that. In the paint. Putting Ooh. up a shot. No good by Amelia Sobieski. Eight seconds left in the quarter. Greenfield can take their first lead. Here comes Hickey. Little spin move. Gets it back. Hazelton with a rainbow three. No good. Battle for the rebound. Smith got it. Put it up at the buzzer. No good. End of one in South Deerfield. And our score on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It's Frontier 8. Greenfield 8. Second quarter action next on Bear Country 95.3. Hawks. Ward inbounding on the baseline. Gets it in to Hazelton. Top of the key to Hickey. Back to Katie. Right side. It's Howland. Takes it into the right corner. Shot clock down to eight. Hickey has it beyond the arc. Five to shoot. Stops there. Cross court pass on the right. They get it to Smith. Turn, shoots. Ooh. Just before the shot clock was off, it's good, and Greenfield leads for the first time. Have you seen Greenfield be held th th the shot clock like that as much as they have tonight? Frontier's playing really good basketball. They now trail, though, for the first time. And sometimes when this happens, this is when Greenfield tries to go for the dagger. See how Frontier responds. Foul on Greenfield. Well, Frontier's done well to break the press tonight. They've really handled that containment pretty well. And they've done a good job defending, but... It's going to come down to scoring, and we know Greenfield can score in bunches. First foul on Ward, fifth the team foul. They throw in, Ariana Walker has it on the right side. Bounce pass over the right side. Nice up fake, and jumper from the far side, no good by Sobieski. Weak side rebound goes to Greenfield. Silk to Smith to Hickey. Hickey runs it up. Tricky dribbles, got pocket pick though by Marie Demon. 
Takes off one on three. Runs all the way through. Ran into a wall of green, though. Couldn't get a shot away. Demon just picked Hickey's pocket. You don't see that very often. Yeah, she probably could have circled back, though, waiting for a little bit of help. She tried to force a shot and was able to no. get it. Now a traveling call against Lizzie Howland as she upfaked. And John Hickey looks miserable at the Greenfield bench. He's scratching his beard and put his hands through his hair. Paced the other <laughs> side. Yeah, he's, he's a pretty demanding coach. If he has, if he has a, an experienced, talented team, he can be tough. Be interesting to see what happens in that locker room at halftime. The walls are going to ring, I think. Steal by Hickey. One on one. Takes it all the way through. Scoop shot. No good. And the putback, wow. no good by So Greenfield had two good looks at it. Unable to convert. It's been that kind of night so far. Hicks' face is getting redder and redder. And on the right side, Demon. To the line, to the lane. Throws one up, no good. But a foul down low on Greenfield. We'll see who got this one. And it's going to go against Ward. That is her second. And this is going to get someone off the bench. It looks like Provost may be coming in for Kirsten Ward. We'll see. First free throw by Marie Demon is up, no good. Yet Ward is out, Provost in. And for Frontier coming back in is Olivia Dean. And also they're going to get Lexa Boyden back out there. And uh, Dulette will come, take a little bit of a break. One more free throw, that one, in and out, no good. So unable to score there, Greenfield still leads by two. Provost on the right wing, gets it. To Smith, now back to Hickey. Reagan will set up the offense. Angling towards the left. Passes on the right side to Silk. And on the right side now, it's Provost. Down to Hickey. Shot clock at 12. Into the right corner. You can hear Greenfield's bench saying, shoot. Down to seven. They go back to Smith. Shuffle pass back. Great defense by Frontier. Jenna Silk, two seconds to shoot. They're not going to get it off. Nope. Oh, a foul with one second, actually a half second on the shot clock, a foul on Frontier, and Howland will go to the line for two. Well, that's a tough break, because they, yeah, they had him locked down. If that foul doesn't get committed, she doesn't have a chance at that shot. Howland will shoot two free throws off to our left. First one is up, it is good. And uh, Dulet, who just checked out, will check it back in, because that was the third foul on Lexa Boyden, by the way. That is a major, major development here. I'm sure she'll sit for the rest of this first half. We'll see how Greenfield can exploit that. Second free throw is good by Howell and Greenfield now by four, 15-11. The biggest lead of the game for either team was Frontier at six to nothing. Greenfield now by four. Ella Dean in the front court. Gets it over to the left side to Olivia Dean. Stops, pops, foul line left, went for the bang. That is no good. Provost the rebound. Greenfield now looking to extend upon the lead. And there's no Boyden out there now to mark against Smith. Yeah, they got Olivia Dean out there. That's going to be tough. Reagan Hickey between the circles. Smith calling for the ball, but they are denying her. Left side three ball is no good by Silk. Loose ball, though, picked up by Lizzie Howland. Near the right corner for Reagan Hickey. She'll take a three. Back rim, no. Offensive rebound, Smith. Goes up strong, no. Battle for the rebound. A foul on Greenfield down low. As someone got nailed down. That was uh, Amelia Sobrieski got hit hard. Yeah, outside shooting has just not been working for Greenfield. And, nope. you know, when you see an offense that's jacking up threes like that, you think, yeah, they're off. And it's not even coming close. And even, you know, how many times have you seen Smith miss on the baseline like that? It's just an off night right now for Greenfield. They got some work to do. That's two fouls on Sam, by the way. Yep, and the seventh team foul. So we're into the one and one now. Amelia Sobieski, just a freshman, shooting off to our right. Right-handed shooter. Spins it. Sights it. Shoots it. In and out, no good. Smith skies for the rebound. Out the pass on the left to Hickey. Hickey runs it up very quickly. One tickets back on D, however. Left side, it's Provost, quick catch and shoot, hit oh. the side of the backboard, and it goes out of bounds, back to Frontier. And Provost is a good shooter, but not on that one. Yeah, the body language, I don't know if this is a letdown from the West Side game the other night or what, but this is not the same Greenfield team we're used to seeing. No, it is not. And just for people, uh -oh. for a frame of reference, we'll get to that in a minute. Dean able to break the press, gets it up ahead. Cross-court pass on the left, Marie Demon. 
And now a traveling call is trying to penetrate on the left side was Amelia Sobieski. That West Side Terrier team they be, according to Mass Live, was the is the number four ranked team in all of Western Mass, regardless of division. And that was on the road. That was a huge win. And Greenfield not performing to their usual standards, but Frontiers had a lot to do with that. That's Let's true. Make that very clear. Smith hands it back to Hickey. Shot clock running down again. It's under 10. Reagan Hickey splits the D, goes up. Offensive foul on <laughs> Reagan. She thought for sure she was going to the line to shoot two instead. She has picked up the personal. Well, that lane was well blocked. Hick is going to yell at Artie Burke a little bit, but that's a good call. Nearly a steal by Reagan Hickey. Goes for it again. But be careful. Now a steal by Hazelton, and she lays it up and in. Yeah, you can't, can't let your guard down like that. Yeah, Marty Sanderson is going to call a timeout and tell his girls exactly that. 2.38 to play here in the first half. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's now Greenfield 17 Frontier 11 on Bear Country, Play back on now, Olivia Dean goes baseline. She may have had a shot at a reverse lane. Instead, it goes over to Ella Dean. Shot clock running down, it's 10. Pass score pass, Ella Dean from the foul line. A rainbow chopper is good. She's had one heck of a night so yeah, far. She is She is one of the keys to this team offensively. She if wants, she, yeah. If she gets hot, look out. And she wants senior night to be memorable. She wants that W against the mighty Lady Wave. I think a lot of the local teams are getting sick of hearing about these Greenfield basketball Ooh. players, Reagan Hickey drops a tray from beyond the arc to momentarily quiet the crowd here. 20 to 13, Greenfield by seven. Tipped away underneath the basket. Picked up though, nice job there by Frontier to maintain their composure. Dean, they want the ball in her hands as much as possible. One of the leaders, top of the key, closely guarded by Hickey. Hickey's got a big height advantage over her. On the left side, a big three point bomb put up by Olivia Dean. No good, Greenfield running the other way. Hickey. Into the front court, to the line, to the lane, scoop shot, no good. And the rebound being battled for, out of bounds, it'll go to Greenfield. Ariana Walker will check in, and sitting down will be Olivia Dean. They got the speed burners out there for Frontier right now. Silk inbounds, Hickey with a deep three-point bomb. That is no good, rebound to Silk, goes up. Partially blocked on the way up. Nice D there by Sobieski of Frontier. Ariana Walker with a determined look on her face. Up ahead to Marie Demon. Double teamed on the left side, right side rather. Pass batted down all over the court. Greenfield's defense, but somehow Frontier comes back away with it. Walker for three and doesn't get the bounce. Provost gets the rebound and got bottled up. No, a reach in foul called against Frontier. Not a held ball. And looks like we have one and one on the other end. Should be. We're in the bonus now. Seventh team foul on the Hawks. And the first personal on Marie Demon. Lizzie Howland in for Sam Smith of Greenfield. Well, Hick, we'll talk about this at halftime, but Hick, I mean Coach Hickey, not Reagan Hickey, decided to let his girls play through it. I thought for a moment, first free throw by Provost is good. She'll get one more. I thought he was this close, Chris, and I'm holding my index and thumb close together to just sending in some of his, uh, getting five new girls in there and let them play for a while because he was not happy with the effort, but stuck with them. Second free throw is no good by Provost. So Greenfield's lead is a 21-13. 
inside of a minute to play here in the half. Ariana Walker. Here comes Ella Dean, sealed off on the left side. They're going to jump all over her. She's had the hot hand so far. Nice pass right side to Walker. Walker going baseline all the way through. Shot clock down to 10. Walker has it again. Marie Demon down to five to shoot. Marie in the paint loses the handle and a held ball. The arrow will favor Greenfield. That was not a good possession. Yeah, it's coming a little bit unraveled for Frontier right now. They haven't had much offensive punch in this quarter. But that time they were running around a bit. And they're getting away from what made them successful in the first quarter. For Greenfield, Smith in, Silk out. They're going to look to get the ball to Sam right here. Reagan Hickey jogs it across the timeline. Into the front court, over to Hazleton. Shot clock is off. 18 seconds left in the half. Hickey out deep. Right side. There goes Hazleton. Can't penetrate. Back to Hickey. 11 seconds. They swing it on the left side. Reagan gets it back from Howland. Howland has it now. She'll square up for three. Around the rim and out. Rebound to Frontier. One second left, and they are not going to get a shot off. Halftime here at Goodno Gymnasium in South Deerfield. On senior night and pack the house night. On the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Greenfield 21, Frontier 13. Our halftime report next on Bear Country 95.3. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. And welcome to the Bear Country High School Basketball Halftime Report. Good no gymnasium in South Deerfield, home of the Red Hawks. Greenfield 21, Frontier 13 here at halftime. Jeff Terrell, Chris Collins, studio producer is Dave Reno. We're also on FCAT tonight, and we're live on YouTube at the FCAT YouTube channel. Chris, a very impressive start to the game for Frontier. Give Greenfield credit for coming back. They now lead by eight here at halftime, but they got a game here tonight. They do. Frontier came out strong in that first quarter, and they were doing a lot of good things on defense. The second quarter was not as good. Not Shooting-wise, it wasn't as good and Greenfield stepped up the defense. They still have not gotten Sam Smith involved in the game. She has five points, but she's sort of been uh, on the perimeter and the periphery. Greenfield's shot selection has been a lot of outside shots, a lot of misses. Frontier has to get more offense than they're getting from, you know, Ella Dean is doing her part with seven points, but they got to get more people in that book. Yeah, very impressed with the job of Ella Dean. I agree, they need to get more people involved in the offense. Greenfield's has start to make it very difficult against them in that second quarter, but remind you, uh, remind our listeners too, and our viewers, first matchup against Greenfield at Nichols Gym, they only scored zero points in the second quarter, only two in the fourth quarter, so they have much improved, and that's really, that's coaching. Marty Sanderson knows how to coach, he knows how to attack this Greenfield defense. You have to have the horses to do it. Frontier has shown that on occasion, they actually do. Yeah, they do, and I think that you know, they got to come out here in the, in the third quarter and, and step it up a little bit. I'd like to see Frontier press a little more. And uh, Greenfield, I think, has benefited from stronger defense, as always. Their defense tends to generate points for them, but their offense is incredibly inconsistent tonight, and they've got to try and put more points on the board. The, the more this is a low-scoring game, the more it benefits Frontier. Absolutely. Uh, Greenfield, uh, on many occasions, they've played right in the Frontier hands by really getting that shot clock way down low. And Greenfield definitely needs to be much more aggressive offensively. We'll take a timeout here in our halftime report. We'll run the numbers for you coming up next. This is Bear Country 95.3. Back out here at Good Note Gymnasium, Frontier Red Hawks trail the Greenfield Greenway by a count of 21 to 13. Leading scorer for Greenfield, Reagan Hickey, with seven points, five for Samantha Smith, four each for Lizzie Howland and Katie Hazelton in a single foul shot. For Raquel Provost for the Frontier Red Hawks, seven points for Ella Dean, four for Lexa Boyden, and two points for Marie Demon. Jeff has second half action next on Bear Country 95.3.
it will be Frontier Red Hawk basketball to begin the second half. Both teams with their original starting five on the floor, I believe. Yes, except for Frontier, they have uh, Amelia Sobieski out there. So that's the one change. All right, we're underway. Greenfield by eight. Frontier now attacking the basket on our left. Ariana Walker on the right wing. Throws over Marie Demon. She'll try to go right baseline. Gets it over to Sobieski, but it's sipped away by Greenfield. The wave looks to run. Reagan Hickey to the line, to the lane, off the window. No good. Smith swoops in. The putback is good. Good job by Sam Smith to follow that play and get that board. Greenfield's lead is 10, their biggest of the night. 23-13. Frontier looking to run now. Running it up the right, Walker. Marie Demon deep in the right corner. Sobieski from the right of the lane, no good. Rebound tipped around, comes back to Frontier. On the right side, Dean with another rainbow three. Back iron, no good. Loose ball on the floor, picked up by Dean. Gets past Katie Hazelton. She'll go baseline. Tear dropper from the baseline is no good. An attempted save on the baseline, but it goes back to Greenfield. They got a couple of whacks out there, but Frontier's got to start draining some of these shots. I mean, that was a really good exchange. It should have come away with points. Well, they did get points there, hustle points. Yeah. Because they were beating Greenfield every loose ball, but they just couldn't get it to drop. A minute into the second half, Greenfield by 10. Ward, deep on the right. Hickey beyond the arc. Get it back over to Katie Hazelton. There was a left pass to Kirsten Ward. Shot clock back down under 10. Reagan Hickey for three. Oh. Good! Well, she'll kill you from the outside if she warms up, and she's hot right now. Greenfield with a quick 5-0 run to begin the second half. They now lead 26-13. And Frontier needs some offense right now. That's exactly what Marty's going to talk about. Timeout on the floor, 6.30 to play, third quarter. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Greenfield 26, Frontier 13 on Bear Country, 95.3. Well, it looks like Greenfield has shaken off some cobwebs during halftime, and they seem like they're back to their old selves. But, again, Frontier's got to put some points up. Aladine in the backcourt, guarded closely by Reagan Hickey. Blows right by Reagan. Ends up in the front court, takes the top of the key. They got to move the ball, spread that floor. Real wraparound pass back to Ella Dean. Shot clock down to seven, though. Ella on the foul line, got blocked on the way up by Smith. Shot clock down to two, one. Greenfield gets it on the steal. Ella Dean grimacing as she heads down court. She hit the floor hard. Looks like she bumped her knee or and or her hip. Ward deep on the left wing, beyond the arc. Left corner, it goes to Smith. Gets it down low. Lizzie Howland goes for the bank. No good. Rebound is pulled down by Sobieski. Amelia gets it over to Ella Dean. Yeah, she still has a little grimace on her face. Goes all the way through the Greenfield D, oh, and she just drew the oh. third foul on Smith. And Dean went down hard and in an act of good sportsmanship. Sam Smith went over to check on her. Ella's okay. And she will go to the line. And well, I, again. Think, I think she landed right on her kneecap uh, when she fell down in front of Smith the first time. And that time she just got blown out on the way to the basket. And uh, yeah, she's, she's shaking it off though. Small in stature, but uh, she's pretty tough. First free throw is up, front rim no. She will get one more frontier, still has not scored here in the second half. See if Ella can get them going here. Toes the line, spins it. Let's it fly. That looks good. It is. Greenfield 26, Frontier 14. 540 to play here in the third quarter. Sam Smith will take it across herself. Top of the key back to Reagan Hickey. Reagan stops on the right wing. Guarded by Diamond. Foul line. Throws up a runner. A little bit too strong. Offensive put back by Smith. Good. She's definitely engaged in the game now. Greenfield 28. Frontier 14, oh, nearly a steal. Ward nearly came up with the steal. Loose yeah. on the floor, Hickey did get the steal. Over to Hazelton, off the window. No good, tipped out of bounds. It'll go back to Frontier. Well, there's that press. And we, how many times have we seen that press turn into points? Didn't happen that time, but it's very, very tough to get by that press. Oh, well, it is. That night against Pioneer, that night against Turner's, it just turned into like a, a layup line after a while. They'd get the steal, dish it to the other girl. She laid up and in. On the back now, Speff got sealed off. Right of the lane, Dean. Oh. Rejected by Smith. Here comes Sam the other way. Two on one break. 
Hickey trailing. Sam puts it up and in. Now, what a play by Smith for a big girl to be able to turn that into a fast break bucket. That's talent. Well, we've said it numerous times over the course of the season. Even though she goes six feet, she can run the floor almost, almost as well as a shorter guard. Frontier attacks the basket, and Sam Smith Ooh. just picked up her fourth foul. Not a lot of contact, but enough for Artie Burke to ring her up, and she's got to come off now for probably a while. Well, that's a big deal. I mean, having her off the floor just as she's starting to get heated up. Yep. And Demon did a great job, and I'm not entirely sure that wasn't part of the plan, to run right at her and get her in foul trouble. That's a huge development. So first free throw by Demon is no good, so we'll note that. She goes off. And Lexa Boyden comes back in with three fouls, so that can create some opportunities down low for Frontier. Let's Sam Smith leaves at 4.37 of the third quarter. We'll see when she comes back. Of course, a lot will depend on how close this game is. Second free throw. That is short. And now Marie Demon, she just got fouled a moment ago. This time she went right over the back of Katie Hazelton. That was an easy call for Mike Corpita. Yeah, we didn't talk much about in the first half about this, but Frontier's got to make their throws. Any chance you can get to get free points off of this Greenfield team, you got to make sure that they go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Take advantage of every possible advantage that you get. All right, we're just about halfway through the third. Greenfield leads by 16 points as Sam Smith just went off on the floor, and then she just went off the floor with her foul. Shot up no good down low for Greenfield. Frontier clears the board. See if they can trim into the deficit here. Ella Dean, front court right side. Passes over on the right. It's Olivia Dean. Shuffle pass back. Marie Demon puts up a jumper from the foul line. No good. Hickey the rebound. Frontier ice cold right now. Hickey runs it up quickly. Takes it all the way through. Shuffle pass. Oh, not a good pass to Ward. Ward was able to recapture it. Tips it over. They keep it going. Left side, Kirsten Ward has it. Foul line left. Puts it into the paint. Runs up. Blocking Ooh. foul called against Frontier. Who got the ticket? Should be on sub avoidant. <laughs> See if they put up 2-4. If so, that'll be her fourth. Yep. Yep. So she has to come off now. So both post players are out in foul trouble. And back in for Frontier, Charlotte Doulette, who has seen a few minutes tonight, short spurts. Ward having trouble getting it in, throws a turnover, trying to get to Hazleton at the last minute, and it got picked off by Doulette. Ella Dean throws left side. Marie Demon, 4-3. Air ball, no good. Rebound put up, no good. But an offensive rebound by Olivia Dean. On the right side, Tori Speth. Bounce pass left side, Marie Demon. Back to Speth. Foul line jumper is good. Got the roll on that one. Greenfield 30, Frontier 16. Coming down to the three minute mark here, third quarter. Katie Hazelton. Gets a screen from Ward. To the line, to the lane. Her scoop shot is up, no good. Wave it off, offensive foul. On Hazelton. Yeah, well done by Speth to draw the offensive foul on Katie, but <laughs> that was a miracle shot right there. Just kind of flung it up there and it fell. Provost will check out and uh, checking in for Greenfield is Lizzie Howland. Reagan Hickey has played the entire game so far. She probably won't come off and probably Ella Dean will come off. If she does, it'll be very briefly. Ella Dean on the left side, peels back, takes it. To the foul line, bounce pass on the right side to Olivia Dean. They get it down low. Doulette turns, shoots, went for the bank, no good. Tip follow, no. Speth cleaning up, no good. Oof. Three good looks at it. Tipped out of bounds off of Speth. It'll go back to Greenfield. Yeah, Speth just a little bit too much spin on that ball. Didn't quite catch the backboard where the way it should have. That's a tough break because that was, again, two points they should have had. Walker in for Demon. For Frontier. 2.45 to play third quarter. Greenfield by 14. Reagan Hickey walks it across the timeline. Guarded by Walker. Greenfield spreads the floor down low. They set a screen for Reagan. Right of the lane finds a seam. Puts it up strong. No good. Blocking foul on Walker. Who says, what did I do? But she just got the personal foul. Again, Reagan Hickey so quick coming around the end there. No choice but to foul her. Allow her to have an uncontested shot at the basket. It's only two fouls on Walker. First free throw by Hickey. Spun out on her. No good. Walker has had a ton of minutes in this game tonight. She's been in and out. But when she comes in, she provides an element of speed that 
Frontier desperately needs. Sobieski for Dulette. On that substitution, second free throw, wow. no good. Reagan missed them both. Don't see that a lot. Walker, left wing, gets it back to Dean. This is Ella Dean. Pass on the right side to Speth. From the foul line. Back, Walker, curls into the lane. On the right side, Sobieski, too strong on that jumper. Back comes Greenfield. Reagan Hickey, sealed off on the right side by Walker. Walker's not gonna let her get by this time. Taking her down, Reagan does get by, throws up the runner, gets the yeah. kind bounce. There was no way to stop that. She tried, but. Yeah, Walker, you know, she was shuffling her feet, she was doing everything right, but just that little burst at the end. Greenfield's lead back up to 16, 32, 16, 145 to play here in the third. Aladeen takes it across. Bounce pass over to Speth. Speth, closely guarded by Ward, who will draw the foul, who will pick up the foul, I should say. Don't think Kirsten agree with that call. I mean, Frontier is doing everything right. They just aren't sinking their shots, Jeff. If they can sink some shots, they can make this a much closer game. Dean will inbound just off to our left. And uh, that was Olivia Dean who just checked out. And she was replaced by whom? It's by uh, Demon. Yep, Marie Demon's back in. So Marty Sanderson substituting very liberally here tonight. Greenfield seals the Frontier girl off on the right side. On the screen, it looks like it was Demon. It was held, Demon. Yep, held ball. And it goes back to the wave. Well, that was, sorry, that was um, Silk and, and uh, Hickey that did that. 1.30 left here in the quarter. Greenfield by 16. Katie Hazelton gets it across. Passes over to Reagan Hickey. Reagan, top of the key. Deep three-point bomb, no good. Rebound comes off the side. It comes down to Howland. Over to Silk, new shot clock for the wave. Down low to Hickey. And a foul down low on Frontier. We tried to feed the paint to Hickey. It should be on Diamond, a demon, I think. Yep, kind of. Just bonked yep. her, yeah. It's uh, third on Marie, so the foul's racking up, really, for both teams. Sam Smith went out with 4.32 to play here in the third quarter with four fouls. Greenfield has actually extended their lead by two since then. They're up by 14 at that time. Reagan Hickey on the left baseline, tried to get it over to Howland, picked off, though, by Walker. Here comes Frontier back the other way. Dean into the front court right, guarded by Hickey. One number five against the other. Now they switch off. Silk picks her up. Nice pass down low, but unable to handle oh. it with Speth. Goes out of bounds. The opportunity there, again, squandered. That was a great pass. It was just a tad low, and it hit off Speth's leg. Tough break again for Frontier. Under a minute to play now here in the third. After the game, of course, we have the Helena Chemical Player of the Game. One of these young ladies will pick up the Player of the Game T-shirt. Jeff actually brought the shirt this time. Yeah, I brought two because when Sam Smith was player of the game for their yeah. victory over Pioneer, I didn't have it. Right, we owe her one. So I owed her one, and she thanked me before the game, and I would say she's a strong candidate again tonight, but we got a long way to go here. Very low-scoring game by Greenfield standards, even for them. Reagan Hickey curls around left side. Scoop shot no good, out of bounds. Goes back to Frontier with 28.3 left on the clock. Well, you mentioned before, if this were about hustle points, the Red Hawks would probably be leading right now. Yep. But uh, it's not. It's about points at the scoreboard, and, and they're not making their shots. Greenfield is. They get it into Speth. Shot clock is off now. Down to 23 seconds left here in the third. Greenfield leading by 16. Walker up ahead on the right side. They get it back. Ella Dean, 4-3. Yes! She's got 11 points in this game. 10 seconds left here in the third. Greenfield 32 to 19. Here comes Reagan Icky. She's going to take a three. That one missed badly. Weak side rebounder. Put up and in by Howland and a foul with 1.4 seconds left in the quarter. Well, Lizzie Howland did a great job cleaning up that board and ends up putting it in and draws the foul with 1.4 seconds left. Third foul against Beth. All right, Howland trying to make it a three-point play. Dips, shoots, yes. 35-19 Greenfield, 1.4 seconds left. So now Frontier will go in and just try a desperation shot here. Dean in the backcourt throws it up, and that is short. End of three here at Goodno Gymnasium, South Deerfield on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Greenfield 35, Frontier 19 on Bear Country 95.3. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers. 
your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barrie, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Leading by 16 as we head to the fourth quarter, 35 to 19. I want to thank more of the sponsors here on the broadcast tonight. And they include J.P. Tarinato, South Deerfield Polish Club, Jerry Johnson and Associate Realtors, Meineke Discount Muffler, and Greenfield Savings Bank. Of course, they sponsor the scoreboard. Sam Smith will remain on the bench to begin the fourth quarter again. She went out with 4.37 left in the third with her fourth foul. Obviously, John Hickey would like to see Greenfield maintain and maybe even extend upon the lead and not have to go back to her too soon. If Frontier goes on a run, though, you're going to see her right back out there. All right, play back on now. Frontier with the ball, but they have some work to do. They get it down low to Ella Dean in the paint. No good, but a foul on Reagan Hickey. Yep, Reagan tried to get a hand on that ball and got hand instead of ball, so it's going to be two shots for Ella. Well, I think Frontier has done a good job tonight of taking the fight to Greenfield. A lot of times when you play against a really good team, you're too tentative. You sort of let them dictate the pace and the tempo and all of that. What you really need to do is just let it all go. And that's what Frontier has at least tried to do tonight. First well, free throw, no good. Plus, Greenfield is coming in off of a pretty tough win last night. There could have been some, you know, a little bit of uh, fatigue there, but I agree. I think Frontier's played well. They just haven't shot that well. And another squandered opportunity. Both free throws no good, but Frontier does get it back. That shot by Sobieski no good. Marie Demon puts it up. Got fouled by Jenna Silk. Yeah, I like Marie Demon's game. You know, she was a, a role player last year. She's a starter this year. And uh, she's a solid, solid basketball player. Good athlete and one of the leaders of this team. She is shooting two off to our left. First one is up. That one is in and out. No good. Oh, boy, the free yeah. throws here. I the mean, shooting percentage is probably in the 20s yeah. at this point from free throw land. You have an opportunity to cut into the deficit, and you're not able to do it. Let's see if they can do it right now. Second one is up. That one is no good. Sobieski gets it back, though. So another opportunity for Frontier. Three-point bomb by Dean. That is good. She's been money tonight. That's helpful. 35-22, the Greenfield lead down to 13. Keep an eye on that bench. Sam Smith just kind of watching it. Yep, John Hickey's going to get her out there right now. Enough, enough messing around. Katie Hazelton misses from the right block. Had a good look, but couldn't convert. Frontier coming back quickly. Marie Diamond, cross-court pass. Sobieski banks it up and in. Here come the Red Hawks. They are back to within 11. 35-24, Sam Smith will come in at the next stoppage of play. Ward, deep on the left. Jenna Silk has it beyond the arc. Top of the key. Oh. Traveling violation. And that stoppage of play will allow Smith to come in for Ward. And Provost will come in for Silk. So she comes back in with 6.56 left to play in the game. And a 5-0 spurt here by the Red Hawks. I'd send Demon right at Smith. Get her out of the game. And if that happens, all bets are off. Greenfield with that long winning streak. They have won 13 games consecutively dating back to January. They have not lost this calendar year. Shot up by Sobieski, no. Put back, partially blocked. Getting it back now. Coming through, Ella Dean got stripped on the way up but picks it back up. Passes back. Down low, Smith has to back off and they hit over her. It's Sobieski. 35-26, Greenfield's lead down to nine. It's a 7-0 Red Hawk run. Can they come all the way back against the mighty wave? You know they're gonna try. Here comes Hazelton. Nice job of switching off. 18 foot jumper by Smith is good. Breaks the 7-0 run. By the way, Alexa Boyden is also out there with the four fouls as well. So who will go first? You know, they're going against each other right now. They're guarding each other. Ella Dean, who's had a tremendous night tonight. 
On the right side, Walker. Here comes Sobieski, blocked. Nice play there by Greenfield. That was Smith. Long lead pass down to Smith. Turns, shoots again. Yes! Sam Smith is back in the game. She is such a game changer. It's amazing when she's back in there, what she can do. Ileana Walker in the backcourt. Greenfield not pressing, but making them maybe burn a little more of the shot clock than they would like to. Ileana Walker from the foul line goes to the floor. Picked up, though, by Ella Dean. Ella being double teamed. That's a nice pass to Walker. Here's Marie Demon. Shot clock down to 10. On the left side, little scoop shot in the paint. High off the window, no good. Put back, block down low. Who's the foul on? It's on Smith. It's got to be. Either Smith or Howland. Smith has not come off the court yet. No, nope, it's not on either one of them. It's on uh, Hazelton. Yeah, her on Katie Hazelton, yeah. We thought briefly there that Smith was done for the night. First of two is up. No good for Boyden. She'll get another shot here. Caitlin Mackin, an eighth grader, checks in for Frontier. Second freebie is on the way. That is good. 39-27, Greenfield by 12. Five minutes of play in the basketball game. The Wave getting challenged big time here tonight. Hazelton backs it out, top of the key. It's over to Reagan Hickey, into the paint. Little scoop shot, yes. Reagan's tried that a lot tonight. That's the first time it's actually really worked for her. And Boyden had to kind of just let her go so as to not commit her fifth and final personal foul. In the backcourt, heading down court is Ella Dean. Blows by two Greenfield defenders. Now she's, well, it looks like Greenfield's gonna double team her, but they did not. On the left side, coming through. With a nice pass down low, Boyden hits. Beautiful pick and roll from Demon to Boyden. Greenfield 41, Frontier 29, 4.15 to play here. In regulation. And the Frontier crowd with the defense champ. They want to see this deficit get into single digits. Down low, Sam Smith, they double her back to Hazelton, and she hits. That was just beautiful. Great two, passing. Both teams just executed two really nice give and goes on consecutive possessions. A steal by Greenfield on the inbounds. Hickey, foul line right. But she got her pocket pick. Hazelton got bottled up. Held ball, arrow favors Greenfield. Olivia Dean checks in. And also out there again is Charlotte Doulet. Provost inbounding on the baseline. Into Hazelton, 4-3. No good. Tipped around. Goes out of bounds. It'll be Greenfield ball. With a fresh shot clock. So time becoming a factor right now for Frontier. Yeah, they're down by 14 points. They really need... It in single digits by about two minutes. That's an air ball out of the hands of Hazelton. Frontier on the break. Long pass, too hot to handle, though, for Doulette. It goes out of bounds off Charlotte's hand. Back to the way. Didn't need to do that. You had Olivia Dean on the right side. You could have hit her with it and pulled it back and set up the half court. And Greenfield's going to be content to just walk it across the timeline, work it around. Smith playing with four fouls. Reagan Hickey. Fouled before that shot. That's going to be on the floor. And it looks like that's on Marie Demon. Yep, 2-0 on the block. Well, that's going to be four on her, I think. 16 yep. fouls. Yep, so she has four. As well as Boyden. Katie Hazelton from the foul line. Passes right side to Reagan Hickey. Reagan gets it down low to Smith. Sam turns, shoots a little bit short on that bank shot. Reagan Hickey, though, rips the rebound away and puts it up and in. Yeah, Reagan, those two pick each other up a lot when, they, when something goes wrong. And after they got the lead all the way down at 1.9 to 9, after that 7-0 run, the lead now back up to 16. Greenfield looking a lot more comfortably ahead right now. Dean's going to take another three. That shot, though, is no good. Tipped around, Smith couldn't quite get the rebound. Frontier gets it back, they need to score quick here. Here's Olivia Dean, passes over. And a foul though on Greenfield. And he should be shooting now. That's the, uh, yep, yeah, it is, eighth team foul. That's a pretty One sure gonna be on Provost. 
Alexa Boyden comes in for the Red Hawks. And sitting down will be Charlotte Doulette. And they're going to get Ariana Walker back in there as well. And they're not going to let her in just yet. One and one. If there's a make. Okay, they are going to let her in now. Okay. And she will come in for Marie Demon. All right. Olivia Dean shooting one and one. And they've missed their fair share of throws. They need both of these. First one is up. That is no good. Tipped around out of bounds. Back to Greenfield. Well, if Frontier loses this, so we'll have kind of a, a what if factor to it for sure. Well, you got to have more than Ella Dean scoring points, and you got to make your foul shots, and they haven't made many at all tonight. 45 29 Greenfield, up by 16, coming down to two and a half to play in the basketball game. Reagan Hickey to Smith in the paint, around the rim and out. Provost put back. Oh, no, just fell off after it kind of lingered up there. And our reach and foul call looks like that is going to go against Hazelton. Yeah, that is on Katie, and that is four on her. But Greenfield leading again by 16 with only 2.22 to play. All right, I'm not going to make the comment about free throws now because yeah. now it's still one and one. You know what Chris and I have been saying. We'll see how she does here. This is Olivia Dean, the freshman. Spins it, bounces it twice. Deep dip, lets it go, that one is good. Maybe we should just be quiet from now on about the foul shooting. And one more for Olivia. Has a very precise routine she goes through. That one is perfect. Never touched the iron, two big free throws. And now, Frontier, if they want any hope of somehow, some way, making this a game late, they need a stop here. Greenfield, they set a screen for Hickey. Reagan, on the right side, backing in. Scoop shot, flung it up there, it's good! That was a sick shot! That was unbelievable. If you're watching it, it defies description. Wow. Two minutes to play, 47-31. Greenfield now looking very good to get the W. It will be their 14th victory in a row. Ella Dean, near the center court circle. Ariana Walker. Got to get down low to Boyden and a foul on Smith. Bye -bye. And she will foul out now with 1.45 to play. She knew it. She came right off the court. And they're going to get Jenna Silk back in. But with a 16-point lead with a minute 45 left, that's not as big a foul as it possibly could have been. Well, it was a different game when she was in there. I mean, it, you talk about game-changing performances We'll talk about this in the post-game show. When Sam Smith was in that game, it was a different game. Yep, she was out with foul trouble here early in the fourth quarter. You saw Frontier go on that big run, a 7-0 run to take it from a 16-point deficit down to nine. The gym was rocking. Sam got back in there, hit a couple of big shots right as soon as she got in there. And Greenfield was never thwarted after that. And they will get the win, barring something amazing here. All right, Lexa Boyden. And now we're up to 10 team fouls on Greenfield. So this is two free throws, misses the first. A little bit too strong, she'll get one more. I haven't counted the exact number of misses, but we'd be in single digits right now in terms of the lead if they had made all the throws. Yeah, they've, they've definitely missed double digits in free throws. Second one is good. 47-32, Frontier not pressing to try to get a steal. I think maybe the White flag of surrender has already gone up. I thought maybe after that make they would double team, try to make a bit of a run here. Reagan Hickey, top of the key, 4-3. Went for the bank, no good. Rebound, taken down by Olivia Dean, Olivia Dean over on the right to Ella Dean. Ella runs it up. But you're looking for a quick bucket here. But Ella got bottled up. Nope, she was able to get the pass down low. Bank shot up and good by Alexa Boyden. 47-34, a 13-point lead. Um, again, no press. I'm a little surprised. Just kind of letting them play it out. Greenfield can uh, really run this clock down here. Vicky, they spread the floor for Reagan. Gets a screen, foul line, tipped away. Comes down to Katie Hazelton. Shot clock is at seven. Katie, 
Dribbles to the right side, four seconds left. Stops, looking to pass, turns and shoots. Count it and one just as the shot clock is about to expire. That's composure by a freshman. That absolutely is, and that's a few times tonight that Greenfield's taken it all the way down to the last second, and that was a buzzer beater by Hazleton with a chance for a free throw. And it's good. And the lead now back up to 16. So the lead has fluctuated between 9 and 16 for this fourth quarter. We're under a minute now to play. Sobieski will take it coast to coast. Greenfield just kind of lays back. Ooh, missed the lay-in and got the rebound, but she had a foot on the baseline. Back to the way. That might actually be the, the best example of what we've seen tonight. You know, Frontier has missed a lot of those shots that ordinarily you would think they would drain, and they've missed a lot of free throws. So, yeah, I think there's going to be a bit of a what-if conversation at the end of this game. But Frontier played Greenfield as hard as they've been played in a while. Reagan Hickey just walks it across the timeline. Dean tries to get a steal. Reagan has it on the right side. Tricky dribbling. Gets it back. Shot clock down the 10. Greenfield content just to run this down. Katie Hazleton calling for the ball. Turn, shoots. A little bit too strong on that one. Comes down the frontier with nine seconds left on the break. Alexa Boyden drives all the way through. Blocked nicely by Lizzie Howland up to Reagan Hickey. And the Green Wave will just dribble it out. It's over. Greenfield 50. Frontier 34 is our final. Greenfield sweeps the season series, but the second win came much, much tougher than the first. 50-34 Greenfield on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. The postgame show coming up next on Bear Country 95.3. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. All right, post-game show here on Bear Country and FCAT and YouTube FCAT channel. Great to have you aboard with us tonight. We've gone final, Greenfield 50, Frontier 34. The Greenfield Green Wave has won 14 consecutive games. Frontier, well, they were hot coming in, but they're playing one of the top teams in all of Western Mass, and Greenfield eventually, it took a while, but yeah. eventually they showed why. Well, Greenfield came in, in a little bit flat, I think, and Frontier came in just flying, and they played really well. I mean, that first quarter was very, very even. They ended up tied at the end of the first quarter. But then in the second quarter, Greenfield started to get their legs. They started to make some shots, and Frontier's offense just did not materialize. And, you know, they didn't make free throws in the second half. I mean, you think what might have been. You know, they lost by 16, but I think that this game was a lot closer than the score indicates. And certainly if, Green, if Frontier had a little more of a consistent scoring attack, um, they still might have lost the game, but it would have been a lot closer. Well, I'll tell you what, too, both post players ended up in foul trouble. Ultimately, Sam Smith did foul out, but boy, what a difference. Sam Smith out of the game, big run by Frontier. They're going a 7-0 run. They took it from 16 down to 9, and the crowd's into it. We're thinking, wow, might Greenfield get toppled? John Icke says, all right, I have no choice. Sam, get back in there. Two big buckets right off the jump, and uh, Frontier's comeback was effectively over. Well, we have said this so many times. I mean, there are certain players that are game changers. Certainly Reagan Hickey is one. But Sam Smith tonight, I mean, you saw an abject example of it. Just as Frontier is going on a run, even with four fouls, they put her back in, the entire complexion of the game changes. If that's not a player of the game performance, I'm not sure what is. Exactly. Sometimes it's funny to give a player of the game T-shirt to somebody who fouls out. But Frontier, I mean, they went right after her. I, I love what Marty Sanderson was trying to do. I've seen it so many times when a team that doesn't quite have the talent goes up against a team that does. They're too tentative. They're not quite sure how to... No, go for it. Yeah. You, have, you, you have very little, or really in this case, nothing to lose. 
go for it. And they went for it. And Greenfield, they were on their heels. So kudos to Frontier. Uh, player of the game uh, from Helena Chemical, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, if Frontier wins, Ella Dean, I mean, yeah. she was phenomenal tonight. She was. She led her team in scoring 14 points. The offense ran, you know, ran through her as it always does. And that's a good and a bad thing. I mean, she's hot, and she was pretty hot tonight. You know, it's, it's a good thing. But it, they needed to get more from other players. Certainly, Alexa Boyd played well, you know, finished with 10.6 in the second half. But, you know, everybody else, a couple of, a couple of uh, field goals here and there and, and just not great foul shooting. But Ella Dean, you know, if, if Frontier wins that game, she's definitely the player of the game. But when you have Samantha Smith and Reagan Hickey combining for 33 of their team's 50 points, and, uh, and Sam has 15, including three clutch buckets in the second half. There's no other, other choice as far as I'm concerned. Well, it's what Greenfield's doing this year, winning. Sometimes it's a little more impressive on some nights than others, but they did get the victory with a really strong second quarter performance and uh, last half of the fourth quarter as well. Greenfield wins it 50-34. to 34. Chris, we'll have you run the final numbers here. Okay, for Greenfield, uh, Reagan Hickey led all scorers with 18 points. 15 for Samantha Smith, 9 for Katie Hazleton, 7 for Lizzie Howland, and a single foul shot for uh, for uh, Provost, or Raquel Provost, excuse me. Uh, for the Frontier Red Hawks, Ella Dean, 14 points, 10 for Alexa Boyden, 4 for Amelia Sobieski, and 2 each for Tori Speth, Olivia Dean, and Marie Demond. 50 34 is the final. All right, before we wrap it up, we now reveal the Helena Chemical player of the game. Um, I began my night by bringing a T-shirt over to Samantha Smith of Greenfield. She was the Helena Chemical player of the game recently for the Greenways victory over Pioneer. I didn't have it that night up at the mess hall, so I handed it over to Sam Smith, said congratulations, and uh, about an hour and a half later, I was walking over handing her another one. She earned it. Well, she definitely earned it, and, and you know, a kind of an uneven first half for the entire Greenfield team, and they did not get the ball to her as much as they probably would like to have, but in that second half, she scores 10 points, including three key buckets to sort of end Frontier's hopes of winning this game, and so she deserves that t-shirt. The second one uh, we've in consecutive games we've done for Greenfield. That's right. So she has two. Katie Hazelton has two. And Reagan Hickey also has been a player of the game this year. So, yeah, it's been kind of like the, the three-headed monster for the Greenfield Green Wave so far this year. Final score one more time on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Greenfield 50, Frontier 34 with the win. Greenfield goes to 16-1 and overall and a perfect 5-0 and in the Franklin County League North. And for Frontier, they now drop 13-1. <laughs> Finally, Greenfield 50, Frontier 34 for Chris Collins. And our producer, Dave Green, Jeff Thanks for joining us tonight. Have a great night in business.